Mentos. This week, the Media College brings you some of your favorite games and some of your not so favorite games. We're going to have walkthroughs for, well, it's already up there DC Universe Online, crazy MMO for the PC and the PS3. We have walkthroughs with commentaries on that one. Craziness, I know. All you little MMO people out there on your keyboard to, typing away. Check this out. We're going to have Venetica again. Up there already, because it starts with a V. That's what it stands for. It's a RPG for the 360 and the PS3 and the PC as well. Uh, I didn't think it looked very good. It's kind of got like the old school medieval crap. Whatever. So, there's that. Then we've got a little game called Kingdom Hearts Recoded. And you might see that we have a video up for that already for the first part of the walkthrough. Uh, this one's in English, guys, just so you know. And, um, yeah, it's a DS game. It's got Kingdom Hearts. You're Sora with your giant shoes. You're fighting these shadow people with Mickey Mouse. It's good stuff. Good stuff. So now we're going to go to impressions. Screw the blue marker. We're going to go with green. That's what I feel like doing. We're going to have Ghost Trick. Phantom Detective. It's a DS game. You are dead at the beginning of this game. And you've got to manipulate objects in the world to let people know that you're there and discover how and why you died and try to regain your memories. I don't know what the point of that is. If you're a ghost, I could think of better things to do with my time. So, whatever. Then we've got Prinny 2. Alright. The subtitle for this game is Dawn of Operation Panties, dude. I... I shit you not. That is the name of the game. And the premise is, is you're a penguin. In this game, they're called Prinnies. And you have to find the panties of some goddess or some queen or whatever. Otherwise, she's going to turn you into her panties. That's the premise of the game. You, It's a hack and slash side-scrolling game for the PSP, so I just basically told you everything about that game that you need to know. Done. Moving on. The next game we're going to have impressions for is Rec Room Games. Okay? It's a DS game. It's things like table hockey and air hockey and floor hockey. Tons of hockey. No, the... Pool, table tennis, things like that. So, uh, there's like 20 something games in there. Whatever. Next game for the Wii 101 Sports Party Mega Mix. So, if you don't own Wii Sports, which you do because you own a Wii, here's some more sports crap for you. Have fun. Alright? Not even writing that down. Doesn't deserve my marker. Alright? Next game. We mentioned it last week in this video, but we've got it again because it's just such a great game. We want to promote it as much as possible. That game would be Emergency 2012. Again, buildings are blowing up. You gotta go rescue cats from trees. That whole shebang. PC game. Check it out. All right. Next game up. Spell Force Two. It's Spell Force Two. Faith in Destiny. It's a PC expansion. It's a RPG slash real-time strategy game. Uh, it looks like Warcraft, but probably not as fun. So, again, just me though. Go ahead, slander me in the comment section. I don't care. Anyways, next up, and this is the last one we're going to be having questions for this week. I know it disappoints you. It disappoints me too. It's called Z It or Zit or Zite. Something. Squared. It's a side-scrolling shooter for the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, I think it's been on a couple of platforms as well, but it's coming out for Xbox soon. It's a side-scrolling shooter, and it's got a weird time manipulation system where you reverse time to help out your past self or something. So you can shoot twice or some crazy time manipulation crap. 
So that's our impressions. Moving on to reviews. We've got Surfacer Plus. This game is about filling up your DS with flowers, trying to avoid marbles. That's the game. Moving on. Soccer. I can't spell soccer, so that's an S. Okay, check that out. Soccer. Bash E. All right, another D uh, another WiiWare game actually. It looks like Breakout, uh, but with soccer balls and lasers and crap. I yeah. So yeah, there's that. Now, last year there was a nice little game called Jelly Car, right? Well, this year there's a game called Jelly Car Two. So what you're doing is you're taking that that car that had the big giant jelly wheels on it, and you're driving it through more physics-enabled worlds. And, uh, yeah, it's Jelly Car with a number two. It's called a sequel. I don't know if you're used to that. I know there's not that many sequels out there in the video game world. So, something different for you. Then we've got big title here. Big title. Pets. Cats. Family. All right? It's a cats game for your DSi. Uh... DSI Wear, I should mention, because you can't go to the store and buy it. You gotta download it with all your little fancy computer gadgets. And, uh, yeah, pets. You, you know what these games are, so I'm not gonna tell you. Whatever. We've got EJ Puzzles Hooked as the last game. Now, I'm not even writing this one down, because this one, seriously, whatever. You are in a boat. It's a DSI Wear game, I mentioned that right away. You're in a boat, you're trying to catch fish, and there's stars. Or something. I don't know. Uh, it's no Assassin's Creed, let me tell you that much. So, that's what we've got for this upcoming week. One extra thing. Last week we went to a little concert. Now you're asking yourselves, why is this important? Because this concert was Video Games Live. Now we had an interview with the CEO, Tommy Tallarico. We're going to have that video up very soon with some concert footage. Uh, great stuff. So check that one out. Uh, it's pretty cool. I enjoyed it. So that. Now ladies and gentlemen, last week we asked you about Rock Band DLC. We got like two friggin' comments about the Rock Band DLC, so I wanna friggin' know if we wanna cover these Rock Band songs, how do you want us to do it? Talk to us. Be part of us. Communicate. We're trying to be like, hey, we're just like you, but better. So, yeah. Rock band. Comment. Email us at general at mediacows.com. And, uh, yeah. Have fun.